extra, extra. I'm just kidding. It's not the daily. Scorpio, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back. Thank you so much. First of all, let me say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. You have been a blessing to me this entire year, and I am grateful for every single second that you watch and all the comments that you leave. So just let me take one this brief second ahead of time, uh, ahead of the reading to say thank you. Thank you. You have my gratitude, my appreciation, and my respect. So let's get right into the reading, Scorpio. So this is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising, or wherever Scorpio influences your chart. You can take these energies and apply them to the chart. And if you've noticed, that's sort of why I've become very genetic with the gen genetic, <laughs> generic with the way that I talk about the energies because I want to keep them as energies. You know, if you know Scorpio, uh, if 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 you have a Scorpio influencing a planet in a specific house, I want you to be able to apply those energies toward those relationships so that you can sort of figure out the more in more detail if you know it and if you want to go into that detail um you can apply these readings so that's where i always keep it very i try to keep it very generic i mean some readings have been obviously love some readings have been obviously career and so i will share that with you but we'll get more in depth and articulated over in tarot that link is below the extended link is always in the description box below and of course we'll do your love reading for the next seven days. So Scorpio, these are your energies for the next seven days out. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Oh, things are coming out right away. All right, that's good. That's that's smooth. That's a free flowing energy. I like that. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Let's see if we get your crowning. If anything flips over, you know. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio for the next seven days out. 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 Crowning your energy. Dolphin, this and that are true. <sighs> Stay on the surface, Scorpio. Try as hard as you can the next seven days over this next week, the holiday season, to be playful. Play, have fun, have a good time. And stay where the waves are. In other words, stay where the air influences you. This could very well be in association with some sort of air sign or if an air sign has been... Um, a prominent player or push and pull in your life. Um, this could, this could, this could be that energy as well. Um, but there is definitely the energy with this card that says, "Stay in the shallows, stay up here, stay where you can breathe," because you're going to need the air. You're going to need that breath. You're going to need to be able to just have fun for the next couple of days. Now. Why would you be being told that? Because there might be something in the cards that says things could get a little bit deep, things could get a little bit heavy, or that that you just have this opportunity right now to be playful and to play and to not have to worry about all those things that bog you down from the past, those, those concerns, those fears, those distrusts, those worries, those suspicions, all of those things dolphins don't think about. They like most people, they want to play with everybody, and they're extremely intelligent. So what this, what this card is talking about is really use your mind very, very wisely this week um, to help yourself. Not to, like, literally, Scorpio, it's not about use your mind, be, be careful, watch out. I know that I know that that's sort of playing into a very base sensation that you guys tend, tend toward, but that's not how you have to be this week. You actually have to just stay surface level, 
Stay near where you can jump out and get that breath of air wherever you are. In other words, um, don't get too deep with anybody this week. Don't get too deep with your family. Don't get too deep into work. And don't get too deep into love affairs because this is what's going to make you the happiest. And this reading is all about you. It's not all about them, right? I do the who's coming towards you in the... Um, the romantic tarot that I put out, put out on Sat, uh, Sunday. So that information is in there, but this is not about them. This is about you. This is about you staying light, you staying buoyant, you staying where you can refresh yourself and have a good time. Why? Because it's what you need right now. It's what you deserve. And at this point, you're the only one that can give it to you. This could even be an indication of being inspired to just have fun, being in the environment of being able to let go. This is also an energy that says seeing things from both sides, right? Because dolphin needs to breathe the air, but he can also go underwater. So there's this energy of seeing things with your intellect, which is the air, and also balancing out your emotions and navigating the emotions with your intellect. So this is applying that intellect and being able to use both your emotions and your intellect to really advance you this week and make your week better, right? It's all about you. That's what it's all about. It's not about them. It's all about you. It's all about what helps you. So this could very well be an indication also, like I said, of you and an air sign finding a happy medium finding some sort of in-between where the both of you can understand each other. Communications between two extremes, between the air and the water, and finding that happy in-between. Uh, all of these cards are reversed. No, they're not all reversed. Okay, these two cards are reversed. Be generous of spirit. Don't. It's all about you this week. That's what it said. It's in reverse, Scorpio. It's um, maybe just maybe how you have been feeling has been compromised. The way that you feel about yourself has been compromised. This card usually comes out when you've been giving yourself away. When you've been like um, either taken advantage of or feeling like in and of yourself. Like you don't have... Um, you don't have any self-worth unless you give who you are away. It, it's just the energy of feeling, it's just the energy of feeling drained, which is probably why this and that are true is crowning your reading, which is take care of you this week. Like it's not a shame during the holiday to go out and get yourself a manicure, a pedicure or a massage or take yourself out for dinner. Do whatever you need to do to replenish yourself because this is sort of, um, Mm, okay, I'm going to give you the, uh, I'm going to continue with the philosophical interpretation of this is the, the energy of you needing to heal yourself, replenish that feeling of feeling good about you. It's not necessarily healing in terms of your health, but healing in terms of your emotions, your mentality, and even your ego as maybe taking a bruise. And that's why I'm saying that, th okay, now the 3D sort of cattier version could very well be this and that are true. Somebody has compromised your reputation. Somebody has said things that make you look like you're not as sophisticated, don't have as much as integrity, don't have as much intelligence. Somebody has, has been talking you know what. That have been trying to cloud things and sort of um, cloud the way that you look or the way that you feel about yourself, which is even more important. And so there's this energy of being able to strategize, being able to stay on your toes, Scorpio, and make sure that you can understand their language so you know how to navigate it so that you don't get bogged down by it. Because it's almost like this energy would be depending on you to be bogged down by it and go back underneath and hide. But, you know, yeah, like, like 
underneath and hide, like your upside down you. Somebody only seeing your upside down you, a sense of being accused or um, being set upon by people who only see those undersides of you and not those other sides of you that are joyous and happy and help people and are, and are playful. So there is this wonderful sense this week in the cards to be very careful for this energy and make sure that you bring your lightness to not because other people are right about you, but because um, it'll help prove them wrong. That's why, that's why. Be peace, but it's upside down. So there's definitely this, sen this sensation of you might have to sort of go on the, not on the attack, yeah, you might have to go on the attack or, or call out all in all war this week or feeling like you do because there is this sort of threat to your reputation or your ego. But then there is that crowning energy of, Maybe not. Maybe giving them, this is Libra energy too, but it's unbalanced. The sense of unbalanced self. More esoterically speaking, there is a sense of unbalanced sense of self, of your own self-worth, of who you are, of where you want to be, of what you are in this world and how people see you. This sense of you don't feel good about it or it's been compromised and somebody has basically twisted you and turned you upside down. Either way, taking on this mantle, taking on this energy of staying on the surface, keeping them up so that... Now, your strength generally would be to suck them down and to drown them there. Um, but honestly, it's almost like effectually kind of what they want you to do because it gets you stuck down there too. You know, and, and listen, you deserve the air. You deserve the breath. The air is a resource for everybody. You have a right to be happy. You have a right to feel good about yourself. You have a right to be playful. So this could be this energy, Scorpio, of being guilted into something, people making you feel guilty if you don't do things the way that works out for them, sort of taking out full on war or attack on how you feel about yourself. So it doesn't necessarily have to be with words, people accusing you of things, but it could just be that sort of emotional manipulation of them making you feel bad about yourself in order to get you to do something the way that they want you to do it. So what do you do? Stay up, stay up, stay buoyant, stay very in tune with that intellect and that strategy so that you don't go too deep and make them get you stuck there because that's where you're going to be sort of easily controlled as much as it seems no. They're depending upon you feeling bad and feeling guilty and feeling heavy. That would be this energy of that compromised sense of self working for working for somebody working for them okay take a leap of faith stay still like stay no no this and that are true so you want to stay where you are and hold your position but just be playful and happy about it it's also kind of like it's kind of like it's not necessarily bad luck in fact, this card continues to be good luck. When grasshopper shows up in your life, it's good luck. But this is good luck with awareness. This is good luck through stillness. This is good luck through watching and observing and being very, very cautious this week of people who are trying to bait you. Do you understand? There you go. Do not let anybody bait you or make you jump. Hold tight. Stay around like this is the holiday season. Stay with your family, stay with your friends, stay with the people that you know are your tribe. You know, this could be this energy of coming through somebody make somebody in family or amongst old friends trying to make you feel guilty for stuff, like trying to like bog you down and 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 even if it's not intentional, though the air element suggests that there could be intent behind it, but it may not even be intentional. It could just be sort of their way of being makes you feel guilty about yourself, makes you feel like you never do enough. And to combat that is just to stay where you are, which is where, where you are closest to yourself, closest to what you need. Don't let anybody make you pounce this week because... Essentially, what they're doing is either they're trying to get you out of the way, so they get you lost. It's almost like they're trying to like get you out of the way or get you to do things their way, get you to do things for them. So it's really just sort of hold your position this week. Your uh, central energy is slow and steady wins the race. This is Cancerian energy. 
This is emotional maturity of knowing who you are, of feeling happy in your emotions, of feeling good about what you feel, about, yes, you put up that shell, that protectiveness, but it's not something that weighs you down. It's actually something that helps keep you buoyant. It's not something that you retreat into because this is sea turtle. <clears throat> it's not just turtle, it's sea turtle. So sea turtles don't retract into their shell. Their shell's just a part of who they are. So they recognize, you know what, my emotions are a part of who I am. I don't have to be feeling guilty about them and I certainly don't have to be baited for them or make people feel like I owe them something because I can get emotional. No, I'm happy and comfortable right here, swimming around. This is, this is maturity, this is emotional maturity of feeling extremely comfortable with the things that you feel and not letting somebody else get you down for it. Uh, time for a deep dive. Really interesting card to come up in a time where everything else is keeping us shallow. But I think that this is an energy of, this is always romantic energy. So this could be, uh, we're going to clarify this card. <clears throat> time for a deep dive. This means, and this is an indication of a deep dive into yourself. Your self-love, the way you feel about yourself. But this is also la vie en rose. So it's almost like it's, it's an energy of romantic, of let yourself be whisked away by romance this week. Let yourself be whisked away by, it's almost like this energy of yours to be emotional, to be affectionate. Trust that. Don't let somebody make you feel stupid for that. There could be this energy of somebody almost, because they're not comfortable with their emotions, them making you feel bad about yours. Know it. Just know it. It's actually not something that you have to like strike out in defense. By you remaining still and re by you remaining steady and you remaining playful and happy and not letting them get to you, they're going to out themselves. It's almost like in this stillness, you defeat them because of the fact that you don't really need, um, because of the fact that you haven't let them bait you. That's what this energy is. Um, time for a deep dive. There is this romantic undertone to it. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy. Um, this could be an attachment to an Aries or a connection with an Aries or just a connection with how you feel about yourself, who you are. This is for, this is stability. This is feeling real good about your eccentricities, about your emotions, having that amazing energy. But this is definitely surface energy. So just to let you know, it's almost like dress up, go ahead, doll yourself up. It'll help make you feel better. It'll help make you feel good about yourself, help make you feel sexy, help make you feel, you know, tremendous and fierce. It's almost like paint it on the outside so you feel it on the inside, which is just still being fun and being playful. So you can walk into the room looking good and feeling good. This also makes me realize you may be going to Christmas parties, you may be going to New Year's parties. You may be going to just every place on the world and just show up looking damn fly. That's what you're going to be doing this week. You're going to show up looking fly. That's what you're going to be doing. Surrender now. This here, this now. And this energy is not going to be far out. In other words, it's casting really just for the next seven days. This lets me know that this is what's going on right now. This also, I'm going to say this straight out, is a war not a warning, but a red flag that there it might be an Aries or some kind of very fearless and bold character that looks very good on the outside, attracting you like a moth to a flame, pulling you in. And it's these old sensibilities. And that's why we got the warning here first. It's these old sensibilities playing on those parts of you that make you get sucked down, that that lure you in and suck you down like a moth to a flame. This is fire energy too. This is Sagittarius energy. So this could very well be their playfulness, their boldness just makes you want to like, makes you want to with them this week. And you will get your heart stuck on them. There is an energy of a fire energy calling to you and pulling on you and being extremely attractive to, to you this week or definitely working on you and trying to lure you in this week and maybe you being ready for it. It could also be a suggestion of them being willing to uh, take a deep dive with you. So that's for some of you. It's not for all of you. 
But there's also this energy of somebody wearing a mask, of somebody being deceptive. This is Gemini energy. Um, not because Geminis are deceptive, but there is because there's a, also a spirituality behind this. It's not be, you wear a mask in spiritual ceremonies so that you can relinquish yourself and become somebody greater, somebody larger, somebody that represents the gods or that speaks for the gods, like the gods speaking through you. Like you are the mask and the gods are speaking through you. So this is also destiny and fate. This could speak to you having a destiny and fate with a fire sign, with a fire energy, or that this is your time to be tempted and tested to see if you fall down that wormhole because you are definitely sort of like um, feeling compromised and this is going to make you feel better. But it's not always those things that make us feel better that are better for us. So I'm just telling you, you may be talking to somebody that there's a voice speaking through them, but it's not really them. There's a little bit of a mask going on here. Letting you know, because that's what I do. Uh, take time out. Brown bear spirit. Be protective. Be defensive. This is be defensive. Make mama bear energy. That's mama bear energy. Mama bear don't mess around. Okay? So protect yourself. This is a, This is almost like you may need to protect yourself against this energy that appears to be extremely sensual and sexy and comes off as, because you're just, you're just ready. It's after all this energy, after all this warning in the beginning of the week of take time out, don't leap. There's somebody trying to bait you, compromise your energy. They're going to show up looking sexy as hell, looking on point, and all of your promises to yourself might go out the window so just be very very protected there's going to be a need to protect yourself this week or somebody may be protecting you in other words somebody may come to you and be like do you see what you're doing here right now you're getting sucked right back in you do understand that right because this person clearly knows what buttons to push and those buttons are sexual those buttons are glamour those buttons are fire those buttons are they like they really light you up okay but where do they get you or where have they gotten you in the past don't really know but there is definitely something to be wary about be defensive about this could also speak to a case where they're being defensive towards you or you're being defensive toward them because something has happened so that you don't trust each because uh so to make you to make you not trust each other um Time to let go and sweet results await. So, it is in this process of letting go. It is in this process of stillness. It is in this process of self-acceptance that you actually find your biggest glory and a wonderful outcome. I feel like you've been working very, very hard on something. It almost feels like you've been working very hard to maybe avoid a specific situation or a specific person. And if you keep doing that and you let go, that's what's going to bring in all your honey. It's your hard work that's going to bring in your honey. It's not, it's not succumbing to temptations this week that is going to, no, no. Why? Guys, it's all, in the, it's all in the stars. This, this is Jupiter, um, this is Jupiter and Capricorn energy. This is your hard work and your dedication to your goals is what's going to pay off. This is going deep, going deep down under and somebody was gnawing your heart in the depths. And this is why you have to stay out of it. This is why you have to stay out of it. You have to stay on the surface. You have to stay shallow because there is a person here that really knows how to suck you in. They're not a bad person. I'm gonna let you know that right now. But they're into you and in the past, they have not done you well. They have basically depleted the way that you feel about yourself, depleted your energy, and it's never worked out. So this is almost maybe a karmic relationship. There is this energy of being able to let go and feel the glory and feel the fire. This is fire too. This is Leo energy. Um, Leo energy. Um, this is really Virgo energy. But I, I, with these two cards, I don't feel like it's the signs that count. What I think what counts is their message, which is, your best benefits come from letting go, letting it go and passing it by, staying shallow because I'm telling you, this is why I was keep getting, I kept getting that message. 
Somebody wants to pull you down. They want to pull you in. They want to pull you back into those sheets. They want to pull you back into that love. They want to pull you back in and you're going to be so tempted to do it. In fact, there's a lot of gravity there, which to me suggests that there's a lot of history there. Now, if this is not about love and romance, this could be about an opportunity that you've been looking to come through. Don't jump into it this week. You need to know more about it. You need to know that it's going to be sustainable because this is a lot of energy. This is a lot of sexiness. This is a lot of attractiveness, but it's not easily maintained. Okay. There's not a lot of longevity into it. Where's the longevity? Leo is the fixed sign of the fire sign. So if any fire sign goes a distance, it's a Leo. Okay. So Leo says let go that's that's where the fixed energy is that's where the energy of this fire is going to keep burning the sun it stays up there those little campfires that sagittarius is light to attract everybody and warm people for a second that goes out and everybody else needs to tend to them aries those fucking explosions that basically hiroshima shit like never ends up really great for you guys leo is definitely this energy of just release and let go, let, like let go, let God type of thing. You know, like this is sustainable energy. So it doesn't mean that, yes, out of all the fire signs, I have actually said that before. If there was any fire sign that would be good for a Scorpio, it would be a Leo. Um, but I love my boysies. Oh, my dog is so cute right now. I want to share her with you guys. She's so cute. Okay, just one second. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hopefully you can see. Do you see her? Do you see her? <laughs> How freaking cute is she? Okay. Brief interruption. I know you guys. Oh, ooh, that's my cleavage. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted to share her with you. Hey, wait, you know what? This is a good time. Let me turn the camera on. Hold on. And here we got the whole reading. So, right? Now, in all fairness, let go. Now, this could very well be saying, let go of your defensiveness. Let go of your defensiveness. I know that this has in the past not worked out or that it, you, you don't trust. <clears throat> so I'm going to say this to you. And actually, we're going to clarify with Tara too. But it's almost like, listen, maybe if there's a new opportunity here, this is something that you should trust. No. I would love to tell you that, uh, Scorpio, to be honest with you, but these energies here... They're the guardians, you know, they're the, they're the watch out cards because somebody wants to eat your heart out. So you got to let that go and sweet results await, await, sweet results await when you let go. There is an energy here of somebody going to try to suck you into their passion and their fire. And I'm not sure if you take that jump that you won't get sucked down. For another karmic cycle. I'm going to go clarify. I hope you join me. And um, yeah, we'll just clarify this. And then do your romance reading. See where we end up. Hold on. Oh, I mean, thank you so much, Scorpio. I'll see you over there.